Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ahmed Fauzi with you again, and I'm happy to be hosting this uh, Peace One Day Facebook Live event. Th th this is the segment where we, we, we dance, and we expect you all to dance, too. This is the Music and Dance for Peace show, and I'm very pleased to welcome Catalina Vitolo and Eva Golan to this uh, program. They're going to dem demonstra som demonstrate something very, very interesting. It's called the Zumba, and of course, you, you all know uh, what I'm talking about. In fact, they're going to demonstrate the Zumba live, but before we do that, <coughs> As you know, music and dance have played a uh, big role in uh, Peace Day, uh, both through our Peace Day celebrations, as well as our initiatives such as One Day, One Dance, One Day, One Dance, and Set for Peace, Set for Peace. Before we hear from our guests, let's run that uh, One Day, One Dance film. It's about three minutes and a half, and it shows the universal power of dance to engage people, young and old, from all over the world with the message of peace and peace day. Roll that film. to say peace to all of you. There are no boundaries. No language is needed as we speak with our bodies. We dance for peace. This is so exciting because we're going to be dancing in this uh, studio very, very soon with Catalina and Eva. Uh, but first let me tell you, this segment on music and dance will also include two other guests who are not with us, but they're with us uh, by videotape. Uh, one of them is Johnny Lee, as I said earlier, founder of Last Night, a DJ Saved My Life. And um, Inos B from DRC, I remember meeting him in Goma. A um, uh, great musician from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. He will be with us too. But let's get on with the interview, shall we? A very short interview with Catalina Vitolo and Eva Golan. Tell us about yourselves and Zuma. Well, um, I've been a Zumba instructor for more than four years. 
and I created Maloka. Um, we run regular sessions in London and also uh, produce Zumba events across the capital. And, uh, and uh, I'm Eva and I qualified as an instructor about four years ago as well. And uh, I've been teaching at Maloka and set up my own, uh, my own um, independent classes as well around um, South West London. Are you Colombian? I'm Colombian. <laughs> I'm Polish. That's all right. We'll forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> Could you talk about Zumba's support for Peace Day and the activities you carried out? Yes, Zumba, Zumba um, has been playing a very important role creating awareness within the Zumba community um, <coughs> that is spread around the world uh, and inviting all the instructors to host their own Zumba class on the 21st of September, hashtagging Dance for Peace, and, um, and sending the message of, of uh, a better world for all, for all. And you know, through Zumba, Zumba is just bring, Zumba brings like-minded people together, people with you know, passion for dance and music and, and um, making this world a better place. So I think it's a really great synergy between Peace One Day and Zumba to try to raise awareness um, within that community because it's, it's a massive community, it's global. So um, millions of, of instructors have um, shared and tweeted and, in, and hashtagged and Instagrammed um, this activity throughout the world. So it's important that the Zumba community is embracing this day definitely, in your view. Definitely. Well, well, why? Well, what's the significance because of that? Because on the dance floor, there are no boundaries. On the same class, you find people from different religions, different backgrounds, uh, different paths. And uh, we are all there sharing the love for dancing and the joy of being together. Fantastic. Yeah. L let, let's remove the boundaries. <laughs> Definitely. And get going, shall <laughs> yes. we? Yes. Okay, <laughs> let's Zumba. <laughs> <laughs> Finger. Finger. Which way does it go? Go, 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 go. <laughs> <Sorry>. <clears throat>
What's your name? Alma. Alma? Yeah. That's fantastic, Alma. Thank you for joining us. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was great, wasn't it? Yeah. Are we still on the air? Yeah, we're still on the air. We're still on the air. We're still on the air. Okay, this is music and dance for peace, ladies and gentlemen. And um, <laughs> uh, I believe, uh, oh gosh, G th uh, thank you, Elma. Elma, thank you. Yes. Yeah. And Catalina and Eva, thank, thank you, so you so much. much that was so us. inspiring and uh, energizing. <laughs> and uh, I think we should, all, we should all learn the Zumba in this office. And we'll do it together. Yeah, and then <laughs> we can do it together next time. Thank you so much. Thank you so thank much you for joining us. And I'm going to introduce um, a segment now with uh, Johnny Lee. Um, uh, DJ saved my life. Um, let me see. Uh, and that's all, really. Well, let's watch it. It's about six minutes long. Johnny Lee, a DJ saved my life. Here we go. I'm Johnny Lee and I'm the founder of the Last Night DJ Saved My Life Foundation. We're an organisation that is based within the music industry, specifically the dance music industry, and we're bringing together people to support charitable causes with a focus on children in crisis. Set for Peace is an initiative that was first thought up by Peace One Day and in partnership with Last Night a DJ Saved My Life we spread the initiative throughout the dance music community and the community of DJs globally. It's all about DJs getting involved by dedicating their DJ sets on or around Peace Day on September the 21st and raising more awareness for the day using music as that tool. Now we started it in 2013 and back then, we, the first year we had 200 DJs involved globally and then we went to 400 the next year and then we went to 800 the next year. So progressively it's got more and more people involved. That's from big name DJs like Paul Van Dyke, uh, Idris Elba, Niall, Niall Rogers, all sorts of different people but then we've also got a lot of bedroom DJs involved so it's 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 an initiative that's engaging lots of people who are within the DJ community to help spread that message of peace The impact of Set for Peace to date has been that on year upon year we've doubled the amount of DJs that have actually got involved with the initiative from 200 in the first year to then 400 to then 800 and the impact that's had as far as a, a tool of awareness has, has been shared on social media no end and added to the, the large figures that Peace One Day are getting for people being more aware of Peace Day. For many years, music has been used as a very powerful tool to raise awareness or to deliver a social message. And for Set for Peace and for Peace One Day to deliver the message through the Set for Peace initiative, through the music, I think is, is a, a way of engaging lots of people globally and uniting them together to a common bond that we all share with music, which crosses all religions, creeds and, and brings us all together. Peace Day on the 21st of September is a day that I feel that we can really share that common vision of peace globally and give it some real focus on a day of non-violence and uh, as in seeing the results it really makes sense. I first got involved in Peace One Day in 2013 and it came about through a mutual friend of ours, a, a DJ, and um, he introduced me to Ben from Peace One Day, who, which then gave a meeting with Jeremy at, um, at their offices and 
once we explained the work that we do with DJs globally, it was it was so synced because at that time they'd just come up with the Set for Peace initiative and wanted to get that message out to DJs. And from that first meeting, it was a great partnership that is still in place today and has led to getting that message out to over 800 DJs in those years. My most memorable moment today, I'd have to say, was from 2013 and it was at the Peace Palace in Den Haag which was just such an amazing place and I helped to contribute to that event by placing Paul Van Dijk, um, a fellow DJ, in that gig and to see that sort of come about and, and that all happen and be at the gig um, amongst, I think there's probably about 4,000 other people there in this just a beautiful surroundings on Peace Day was, yeah, some, something else and we had such a great time and I met so many people there and it's a very fond memory of mine and it, it's where it really, it really hit home because it was my first year involved so it really hit home the power of what Peace One Day and Jeremy's organisation were, were actually reaching out to do. Since getting involved with Peace One Day, I've got to say that I'm so proud of the team behind Last Night a DJ Saved My Life and for all their efforts that they've done to help the Set For Peace campaign, which has all been without any wages involved. And uh, so many people volunteering all sorts of work from video production to helping put posters up. And it's, it's those people that I'm the most proudest of which is contributing to all the good work that Jeremy and his team at Peace One Day are doing. DJs around the world can help promote Peace Day by getting involved with Set for Peace, which is signing up, registering online on the Peace One Day website. And once you're registered, it's all about delivering a Set for Peace a DJ set on or around Peace Day and then sharing that on social media. Now that set may be in your bedroom, that set may be in an event that you're organising or an event that you're a part of or it may be a mix that's put upon SoundCloud or MixCloud or something like that and that's a good few ways that DJs can contribute to Set for Peace which will result in making a difference for Peace One Day on Peace Day. Well, I can tell you the Zumba does keep you fit, so highly recommended, highly recommended. We're still on the music theme, music and dance for peace. And the next musician we're going to hear from is a, a young musician from the DRC, Inos B, that's I-N-O-S-S -S apostrophe B. Inos B from the DRC. He performed at a Peace One Day concert in Kigali uh, last year. He, he was instrumental in uh, many of the dance activities and song activities in the Great Lakes region. Uh, so it'll be great to hear from him. It's a short film, about six minutes. Let's hear from Inos B in the DRC. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Innocent Balume. My stage name is Inos B. And I'm an artist from uh, the Eastern Congo. I'm from the DRC so more in the Eastern Congo because that's where I come from it's true that I move around like for now I'm in Kinshasa but I'm really the son of the Eastern Congo and uh, it's been a great journey so far I started making music with my brothers in our family and uh, in 2010 that's where I 
I went big in the whole country because I won the biggest uh, musical contest in Congo. And so I had the support of all my my country. And from from then, that's where everything started going big. And till now, I'm still trying to to uh, promote and represent the Congolese music everywhere that I go. And especially to promote our culture in the Eastern Congo, because I know many people know the Eastern Congo, it's all about wars, but I'm the one that is promoting music from that side. And that's, uh, that's my short story right there. Yeah, you know, uh, we, it's true that we have really some issues in the Eastern Congo. It's, uh, it's more about the security that is not stable. And, you know, it's true because every day, like recently again, uh, there were some trouble in Beni. Beni, it's a part in the, in the North Kivu. It's, uh, it's uh, a small town in North Kivu. So every day, repeatedly, there are these killings going on and it's really hurt, you know. So I just want to let people know that uh, me as a Congolese person, I need this message to go and reach so many people that it can. You know, we also want the change here. We want the change. We want people to discover the good side of the Eastern Congo. And um, that's why I always support Peace One Day because these are the initiatives that we need that will promote peace, that will promote togetherness, that will promote unity. Because all these troubles that we've been having in the Eastern Congo, it's been all about that. Different tribes, different people, they have um, different interests. And so they want to use people into killing each other. And that's really nasty. So. Uh, I will always stick to initiatives like Peace One Day because this is what we need. Me coming from the Eastern Congo, one day I want people to talk more about our music, to talk more about our soccer players, to talk more about all our type of artists that we have. I don't want them to talk about guns, killings and all that, you know. Uh, peace day, to me, honestly, peace day means every day. Because I know that the concept sometimes, especially here in Congo, when people hear peace one day, like the the last time Akon came to 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 my hometown Goma and had to perform for thousands and thousands of people. When people heard about peace one day, they said, why not? It can be peace every day or something. But to me, peace one day, if we can only have one day of peace, that means we can even now make it and try to uh, multiply it, make it bigger, you know? So it's, it's always good to remind people that we need peace to do anything good. We can't do anything good in a bad situation. We need peace. So to me, peace one day means peace every day. Me, my, the only thing that I can say about that, uh, I want all the young people, all the young leaders to make peace with their enemies or people that they suppose like they are their enemies. It's like that question of every day on peace day, the question that comes back, back and forth, who will you make peace with? I really like that question because every day, you know, in real life, every day we have some little issues between us as uh, human. So to me, Peace day is the right day of making peace with all the people that we think they, they are our enemies. I know that I don't want people to have enemies, but please try to make peace with someone that you haven't been talking to for a while. And, you know, after that, I know that you can do something together, something good. Like me personally, as an artist, 
on peace day i would love to do something artistic like playing playing for uh, for all my fans i know they come from different tribes and all that i'm already thinking about that because uh peace peace day is uh, getting very close and i'm trying to do something that we just mark that day because peace day to me means something big we have so many issues here that that peace day can even can only pass me by like that i have to do something me personally Uh, that's what I just said. Uh, on this peace day, I will make peace with um, um, what? Because I have, you know, I have to, I have to do something special, and then I will let you know, man. I will let you know. But basically, I just want to make peace with uh, people around me. I want, I want the good vibe. I want people to enjoy themselves. I want to make them uh, enjoy the day, play some good music for them, and you know, plan for the next trip, you know. The role of music is uh, really big in promoting peace because music has no boundaries. Music is for everyone. It's a universal language. Everyone can listen to the melody and will try to understand what it means. No matter what the language can be, but music is really something. Music is big because it, first of all, brings people together. It's like what I just said with Akon. When Akon came, he sings in English, but in my hometown they speak fluently Swahili but easily they could come to Akon's show and enjoy themselves without asking each other where do you come from or what do you do, whatever, you know. And like the next year after Akon, when we went to Kigali in Rwanda, you know, they speak in Rwanda, but I was surprised I did a great show there with all the young people that came to, you know, it was really interesting. And uh, I think music is really a powerful way of promoting peace. Me as an artist, every time I'm singing about peace, I think, I feel, I always feel like I'm singing a real story of my life. Because, you know, I grew up in, uh, in this same situation that happens back in every day. It's just repeatedly happening, you know, that I've been, I was born in uh, uh, 1997, where things were really difficult uh, in the Eastern Congo. So I've been really living all my youth in that same situation. So when I sing a song about peace, like I have one song called Together as One, I really feel like it's, uh, I get personal. I feel like, I have to give the message the, the 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 most the best way as I can because I think that I have a, I've been having an experience and so when I'm singing about peace I really want people to understand that I'm serious about it and I just wish that change could come this uh this uh fast you know Uh, the, 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 the thing that I will never forget about that day is that there was a very natural exchange between cultures. There were these artists from Uganda, from Kenya, and we met the artists from Kigali, uh, in Rwanda. And, you know, there were like some other artists from South Africa. I really felt like Africa was present in that uh, in that event, and myself. There were even art uh, artists from Tanzania and Nigeria, so I really felt like the exchange was so natural, and it was really interesting when we were all giving the same message: togetherness, uh, 
love between us as young people because there were a lot of young people. It was a room full of young people. And to me, that was really interesting because the youth is the next generation of leaders. So that experience was really fantastic. And I can't, you know, I can't wait for things like that to always happen again and again, again and again. Uh, if I have to summarize, <laughs> music and peace day, I have to say, um, it's not, you know, it's not only about music, but also it's, uh, what can I say, it's uh, entertainment and the culture that can go hand, hand in hand with peace day. Because I remember another thing that uh, I forgot to mention is uh, one day we went to uh, to Gisenyi, still in Rwanda, and look at how many young people were there just for football. And look at how many young people were there present. And we had the opportunity to pass the message about peace. That was also another great experience. So I want people to understand that the culture can go hand in hand with uh, Peace Day. Because on Peace Day, we have to find a way to put as many people as we can together and spread the message. That is all about unity, love, and all that, you know. So music, Peace Day, football, everything, sports, it might even be basketball, whatever, all that go together. And that, that's what will make it even peace every day. Uh, you know, it's really, it's really important to today, to start today telling the young people that we are the future. This is something that people have been repeating, but it's not a game. It's true. It's real. We are the next generation of people that will make big decisions for the world. We are the uh, next generation that will make big decisions about the environment and all that. So... It has to start today to let the young people know that they are already the leaders. It's not about something that we will wait for, but we are already deciding from today. So we have to be um, we have to be aware of what is happening in the world. And uh, wars wars are the first negative thing that is happening and messing up the whole planet right now. So we really have to find a way to always let the youth know that they have to stick together. Because when you can go fast when you're alone, you can run so fast when you're running alone. But if you are two, you won't only go faster, but you will go far. That's the difference. So unity is powerful. Unity is powerful. We have to always stick together because... Tomorrow we will be the ones deciding, and it starts from today. The youth has to be focused on what is very important and keep what is not important on the other side. All right. So, um, yeah, as I was saying, as I was saying, first of all, thank you for mentioning that uh, of me becoming a young leader, but you know, I'm just trying to play my part. It all started with the music. It's true that it started with the, with my art, but now seeing all the stuff that happens in my country and specifically in the Eastern Congo, I just want to be useful to my community. So I take advantage of being an artist I, and then I spread all my my important messages. That is all about peace, unity, and all that. So, like, for example, I have today the advantages of being on television, being on radios, 
talk about my music, but at the same time, I take those opportunities to talk about peace, to talk about unity, to talk about how conflicts are not important in our community and all that. So I'm just trying to play my part and be useful to my community. That's all. And um, I also thank God for this music that he put it into me and my family for always being with me. So uh, that's it. Wasn't that amazing? Uh, Inner SP from the DRC. And we've also heard from Johnny Lee uh, today. And uh, we had the pleasure of having uh, Catalina and Eva do the Zumba in the studio with us today. And th that's going to be the end of our Music and Dance for Peace segment. But just to tell you that these two campaigns have been very successful. The, uh, the uh, One Day, One Dance and the Set for Peace. If you want to know more about them, go to peaceoneday.org. Uh, for more information, highly successful and music and dance really unite people. Um, don't forget to comment on your Facebook page. Incidentally, I've just been told that 100 million people now know about Peace Day. Uh, Facebook members have been informed by Facebook. 100 million people, not bad. And there are others, of course, millions of others through other uh, feeds uh, who are aware of Peace Day. And it's important to be aware, because if you're aware, it inspires you to action. Um, our next show that will be coming up, our next segment, will be the next feature documentary. And um, it's called The Day After Peace. And if you haven't se seen it, please make time to see it. It's 80-something uh, minutes long, an hour and 20 minutes. And uh, it's uh, well worth watching. It shows you the journey of how a peace day, having created it in peace one day, how does the day actually work? Does it work? Big question mark. It'll be answered in the film, The Day After Peace. Don't forget, today is the day to reach out. Say you're sorry. Say I love you. Whatever you want to say, make peace today. There's time to do so. We'll be back after a, a short break. Don't go away. <laughs>